guess what? I got a cool thing for you to check out. Um, you ever had to do a flush base with a little reglet detail here? Um, that's a tough one, right? So we got a couple of suggestions here. This is the Chief Talk forums, and we got Tea Time, who's a really knowledgeable user, and they are suggesting maybe you use a pony wall. That works. So you're creating a pony wall and a wall type where the wall type is, we're making that drywall a thickness of zero inches. And that way, the base just automatically pushes to that wall type. Only problem is, is that this can create some issues in terms of vector lines and elevations, or it can also make it so that you're building framing from that pony wall now. So it's a, you know kind of messing with your framing. So maybe you don't want that. And then some other suggestions use a wall material region, but you have to do that on a wall by wall basis. So what happens when you've got a 3000 square foot home with a ton of rooms, you're not gonna spend all that time doing that. What a pain, right? And then so someone's kind of chiming in and saying, hey, developers, let's fix this. We want to, you know, get in a new approach for this, a tool for this. But guess what? I've got a method for you. And it's a pretty simple method. So let's start from a brand new plan. Now, when we're finished setting up this method, you should save this as a template for any kind of flush based projects you're going to do. Because guess what? You won't have to do any other setup. It'll just be automated. So first thing I want to do is get into my floor defaults and change my first floor molding. And so I'm going to replace this molding and I'm probably just going to do a BM03 for a three and a half inch square molding. Okay. And the one thing I'm making sure to do is in our horizontal offset, I'm going to take that width right here, five eighths inch, and I'm going to minus that five eighths inch. Okay. Once I've got that set, let me press okay. Let's hit done. And then I want to do a couple things. I'm going to change my exterior wall defaults. Now, in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab you know, these walls and I can edit them right in place, but usually I would just change my exterior wall default. So let me hit define. In the interior layers, I'm going to insert above and I'm gonna set that to zero inches. So that's gonna have drywall on its surface. Next, I wanna change that exterior surface, okay? So I'm gonna change that exterior material and I'm gonna change it to insulation air gap. There we go, press okay, and I'm done. Now let me go ahead and change my default interior wall. So let me define, same thing, I wanna insert below in this case for that exterior side, set this to zero inch, go ahead and set up this grabs drywall to be insulation air gap again. There we go. And now I can insert below again and then move this down to the exterior side and then set this grabs drywall to zero inch. Hopefully you follow it all that. Okay, so I've got insulation air gap on the outsides so that's half inch. Let me press okay. All right, now let's start drawing out some rooms. Now the next step of this would be going through all your room types and adding a wall covering, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. Instead, I'm just gonna select a room select marquee similar, select all similar, let's open it up and we're going to get to the wall panel, uh, wall covering panel. And so we're going to add a new, and I bet you can guess what we're going to add. We're going to add grabs drywall. So we're going to add a wall covering over the top of an insulation air gap, which is see-through, invisible. And so we need it to cover everything but that base plus that reglet, right? So I've got a 95 and 5 eighths inch finished ceiling height and I'm gonna minus 3.75 and then I'm gonna set my top to ceiling to zero. What does that mean? It's leaving a relief of 3.75. So if I did this correctly in all these rooms, when I pull a view here and let's just change it to a vector so we can really clearly see this, it should be that I do in fact have a reglet with a flush base. Look at that in every room. So if you set this as all of your rooms having a wall covering by default, that means everything that you drew would have a flush base. Pretty slick, right? Anyways, have some fun trying to set that up. Make sure to save it as your template so that that way when you go to do a flush base, it's really easy.